Ricky with Ninja Training TV. We have a special request today from Dadan, one of our viewers who wanted to know how do you use Jumanji for practical applications. So I've got a couple little different ones worked out for you. These are off the cuff because there's endless variations. Don't ever be limited by what I show. Come up with a bunch on your own as well. So we'll go off a punch on this first one, but how I uh, actually go into Jumanji in a modern situation might not be here and showing that I know martial arts. I might just have my hands crossed here and be talking to this guy, but I'm not gonna be just squared off with him because if I get hit from here, I don't have much recourse in this action. So I wanna blade myself kind of to the side and I'm already giving myself an advantage by only having this section of my body forward and my arm is blocking a lot of my body already so I might be like kind of like hey take it easy dude and then I can do it some type of move from there so that's where I want you guys to first look at a modern application if you're having a confrontation blade yourself to the person don't just stay straight on with them that could be bad news so if I'm here in like arms crossed move I'm already kind of in Jumanji and as this technique comes in I can use this as a block, but here's the beauty of Jumanji. I can take this arm and go off to one side, or I can take this other one and pull this in and do a hit from there. So think of this as kind of a passing way that I can pass either side of this to go into some technique and have it be some really cool application from there. Another way to think about Jumanji in a modern situation is to put that person in Jumanji. So let's say he does a double grab here. I side blow my hand out and bring this up. We can come up with some type of a throw from there. So let's break that down really slow and look at what happens to his arms. I come over the top here because he's already grabbed with both hands and told me where he's at. If I just try to push this from the side, he's locked in really tight either way. But if I side load his hand down and I stamp and push with my body weight, I can swing this underneath. Now if we turn it towards you guys, Look at what happened to his arms here. They're crossed in Jumanji. I come up and over, and I can throw him all the way down and have him hit the ground. Here's another really good one. Jumanji no kata. We come in here on the inside, usually do some triple technique. Maybe that's good, but for modern, I don't like to fall to the inside as much because I have that other hand to deal with right away. So maybe I come to the outside with this first Jumanji and drop this in and do a hit. And then we could do some type of a throw from there. So these are a couple different applications of Jumanji for modern times for you, Dadan. I hope you enjoyed them. Please enjoy our Ninja Training TV channel. Like and share. And check the link out up here in the corner. It'll bring you to other great products that we've made for you. Have an awesome day.